All right, here we go. This is really strange and really crazy. But the model below gives the average depth in feet of a new well and the average cost per feet of a new well. Both models, the T will represent the number of years. Write a model for the average total cost of T for drilling a well. Well, the total cost is going to be the depth times the cost per foot. So we're going to take the depth and we're going to times that by the cost. We're going to multiply this out. So we're going to get some huge crazy numbers. So we're going to multiply the first two and we get 59.078 that's T cubed, 1 and 2 make the 3. Multiply here to get a negative 780.44 T squared. Multiply the end here to get 8654.6 T. Then we multiply the inside, 4010 times 0.542. You can try it with your calculator. You get 2173.42 t squared. Multiply our 4,000 number to our 7.16. We get negative 28711.6 t. And then we got our last number times our last number to get a positive 318394. Okay, so now we're going to collect some like terms. So we have our 59078t cubed and our t squares are going to come together to become a positive 1372.98 and our negative 20057t plus 318394. Now what we're supposed to do is find out what is the cost in 1985. Well, 1985 was five years later. So we're going to put a 5 in for t. So we're going to plug a 5 and cube that. Plug in a 5 and square. Plug in a 5. So when we say 5 cubed, that's going to be 125 times our 59 is going to give our 7384.75. 25 times is going to give us 34324.5. 5 times gives us a negative number. And then we still have our positive result. So that gives us a total of 259818.25. This is quite the, the well. I assume this is not a residential well. Anyway, it's a lot of money to be drilling this well. Then we're going to be placing markers along the highway. A new highway markers are placed every 6x minus 6 feet along a stretch of highway. So this is the distance in between each one. The total number of markers is going to be this guy. So we're going to write a, a model for the distance along the highway where the markers are placed. Where if we have this many spaced off by this much, we need to multiply those two numbers together to figure out the distance. These come out much cleaner. So we're going to multiply to get 6x cubed minus 18x plus 6x minus 6x, actually 6x squared.
and then negative 6 times 3 is a positive 18x, and we're left with negative 6. So here we have 6x cubed. The 18s are going to cross, well, we can call that actually, let me look here, be sure I wrote those in the right, 6x cubed, and then 6 times 3 would be 18 squared. That should be a square. That's what I was pausing at. So we have a negative 24x squared and a positive 24x with a negative 6. So these are all unlike terms, so we're done with that. That's our model of the distance of the highway. If the markers are placed every 528 feet, well, this is the distance that they're stretched out. So if 6x minus 6 is supposed to be 528, we're going to add our 6, divide by our 6, we get 89. Now we're going to plug our 89 into this mess. So we'll take our calculator and say 89 cubed. And that number times 6. Let's see. Let's start that over. 6 times 89 cubed minus 24 times 89 squared. Doing it wrong again. Got to get out of the exponent. Minus 24, 89 squared plus 24 times 89 minus 6. So that's the total feet. And if we divide that by 5,280, which is the feet in a mile, we find out that we're going to be traveling over a 765. 765.5 miles. Pretty nutty. Good luck, everybody.